For decades, we've kept up to date with the most popular music in the U.S. with the help of Billboard charts. From the Billboard 200 and the Hot 100 to lists made for the digital age, Billboard magazine's been around since the late 1800s, but it wasn't until 1940 that any song really hit the charts. On July 27, 1940, Billboard published the National List of Best-Selling Retail Records. It was the magazine's first poll based on record sales across the country. Before 1940, the magazine created a number of lists, like records most popular on music machines or songs with the most radio plugs. None of them really had nationwide backing until July 27, 1940. The magazine included retailers from department stores to typical record stores. Number one on that inaugural top 10 list was Tommy Dorsey's I'll Never Smile Again, followed by Jimmy Dorsey with The Breeze and I. More charts would come. The Billboard 200 was released in March of 1958. Then, two years later, the magazine started showcasing the Billboard Hot 100, which would become the music industry's standard record chart for singles. And it's where radio stations find the top 40.